Bagger's going to be Bagger. Did we think Bagger was going to bring looks? No. Did she bring looks? Debatable. Hi babes, it's me, Tia Coffee, and welcome to Attitude Tea Time, brought to you in association with the Tamey app, the LGBTQ plus dating app that is available in 138 countries, so you've got no excuse not to find a date. Each week, I will be bringing you the freshly brewed tea from Drag Race UK versus the world with the latest eliminate. And this week, I'm joined by my Essex diva leader. It's the one, the only, the star herself is Cheryl Hall. Cheryl, it's gorgeous to see you. R.I.P. to that girl I used to be. Her Drag Race days are over. <laughs> no. Chez, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Uh, genuinely, genuinely, firstly, it's lovely to see you. Secondly... Always a pleasure, Miss Tia. Always a pleasure. It's also sad to see you, though. It's sad I to mean, see you gone. Did you, did you think we'd be chit-chatting this soon? I, do you know what? I didn't. I really... I, I don't know if I've made it clear publicly, but I have been a little bit team Chez. I can't lie. Oh, my, my Miss Tia, team. shut your mouth for a minute. <laughs> Gotta take a breather before they let me back in it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but let's focus on the positives. Congratulations for being on the first ever international season of Drag Race. Thank you, my diva, Lena. In all honesty, not, not many queens get the opportunities that we get. And the fact that I was given a second opportunity to show the growth, the evolution, uh, the not so mediocrity anymore because uh, I'm leaving that in 2021. Uh, I was just I was just blessed because at the end of the day, it's Rue's decision who she wants back on a on on a platform on her stage. And the fact that she had me back, I was just over the moon. And tea coffee for season two. Uh, well, if you're leaving mediocrity in 2021, maybe I'll get the chance to leave basic behind in 2022. Who knows? Baroness Basic, look, we're, we're leaving it in the past. It's all about the future. In the words of Kim Petras, the future starts now. Yes, my coconuts. Very true, very true. Do you want to put them in your mouth? <laughs> now I've got to ask, okay. As a seamstress myself, <laughs> a skill- Both of us famously. <laughs> uh, famously, we are couturiers. Is that a word even? I, I'll ask a horror. I don't know anything about fashion. Um, don't ask me, I'm from Essex. <laughs> Same. Um, it was a sewing challenge and it did feel like, and I think Mo actually did say this, it did feel like you were sort of setting yourself up for the drop, for the fail. Was that like intentional or is that your inner saboteur coming out to play and get fruity? I am ever the optimist, but also with optimism has to come a sense of realism. So it was a bull. Uh, whilst our challenge is to construct something and design something that is the main bulk of it the ball element can sway you from being low bottom two safe and you can teeter between the, the categories of where your place i was kind of hoping in that moment that i was going to be safe and just skate on by uh because i didn't think bagger was going to turn out a look <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of was hoping that I had some saving grace, but you know what? It is what it is. Do you think the judges just forgot the first two looks that everyone was wearing? Because it seemed to be very heavily focused on what was sewn, not all three elements of the look. I think the other looks were like the bonus features, the DVD content. These <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So that's what that's what people were focusing on what was there in front of them like how can you escape what's right in front of your eyes like it's all you can see and I'll, I'll keep it 100 i definitely sewed it very dodgy in the hour and a half that i had to make it so i was holding the dress under my armpit and just posing because i didn't want michelle to see that i had a saggy uh, armhole so i don't actually think that it was that bad do you think anyone else should have been in the bottom in your place no, 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 no. 100% I deserve to be there just based on the garment. Uh, I loved my Butch Queen look. I was I was living my uh, Charlie's Angels pit crew fantasy, ready to take on Rihanna and shut up and drive when she wants to come back from being a newly found mum. 
but honestly, I was so proud. Like we get we get given this list of looks to bring, and this time around, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't teeter between some things. So when I saw Kitty Girl, I was like, I'm gonna be bloody Marie from the Aristocats, like the cute little feline diva. Why not? It's gorgeous. You are gorgeous. But other people, you actually made your look yourself, whereas Bagger appeared not to have. Did Pangina really help her that much? Did she sew any of it herself? Was Bagger present in the room at the time that the garment was made? She was having a stinky or something. No, uh, in all honesty, we all had help. Janie wouldn't have been in the top if Mo hadn't been like, girl, stop working with that fabric. Mm. Start working on something with a bit of stretch and let's get to work. We all helped each other. We all were there for each other. Like it's a competition, but we're not gonna let people fail for the sake of moving on for another week. Like it was just unfortunate that I buggered the leg the legs on my cat suit that I was making and I had to make that dog awful dress in an hour and a half. But Bagger Bagger had help. There's no denying that. We all saw that. But I'm a diva that if I'm tasked to do something. I will do as much of it as I physically can. Right, who did you think was your biggest competition when you walked into the room? I mean, obviously I walked in the room and there was only Bagger and Blue there. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, oh, I've got I've got to be Blue again now. Like, look, Bagger's, Bagger's gonna be Bagger. Did we think Bagger was gonna bring looks? No. Did she bring looks? Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> love her to pieces, we all love her. But no, my my biggest competition was definitely blue. But then the other girls, I was like, I haven't competed against you. I don't know how you play the game. Who who was sort of like the biggest diva on that show? Like who sort of was giving big diva energy? Can we still say BDE? Yes, we can. No, because I, I don't I don't want to get sued for. <laughs> okay, got, I also I, don't want to give them royalties. <laughs> me neither. River River Medway. She's always oh, on Oh, gag, side. gag. It was a reveal the whole time, Cheryl. Um, what, who was sort of giving, why Why am I doing this? Why are we like this? Why are we like this? Who's getting exposed tonight? <laughs> who, who do you think was the biggest diva on the show? It depends how you're asking that question. Are we talking like diva, like Dave Elena, or are we talking like diva? Well, let's do one of each. Who was sort of like giving it like diva and who was giving it like diva? Okay, so. Diva was definitely Madame Mo. She was she she did not come to play. She was like, yes, it's my third time. And can I just address the people that were coming for me because I asked Mo about coming back for a third time. Now it's your third time, girl. Do you think this is the time that you're gonna win it? If your pussy was that good, you would have won the first time too, right? Girl, girl, she's grown a lot in two years, but I'm not back with a vengeance. Apparently coming in the leader time. Oh. You clearly don't know me because that was in jest and in joke, like banter, like, lols, you're back. Are you ready to you ready to party? And like people thought I was coming for her. I was like, first of all, I would never come for her because look, she clapped back at my uh my outfit and I was like, honey, this is this is head to toe stone. Like you you can't touch it. But she she was diva. Everything she does is diva. She is fabulous, gorgeous, and I'm just in awe of her as an artist. Uh diva. It was Ooh. definitely Madam Bagger this week where she was like, I don't want to sew. I, I mean, Tia, you can relate. Neither of us want to sew, but if it's the challenge that week, get out that singer sewing machine and sit down, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, very true. I mean, Bagger has come back in with a sort of like diva energy. Have you like sensed a shift now that she has declared herself the most famous woman in Britain every five minutes on the show? Not that I'm expressing an opinion, I'm neutral, I'm a journalist, Cheryl. She's a journalist, ladies and gentlemen, not a blind data. Um, <laughs> Bagger is always going to be Bagger, there is no change in that woman. She thought she was the most famous woman in Britain when she won Drag Idol in 2010. So <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep it real, like there's nothing changed to that girl, but we love her and we adore her. And we wouldn't change it for the world. Not at all. Now, Cheryl, you're obviously out on next week's episode uh, where there is a particularly hunky judge in the form of Jonathan Bailey, who coincidentally has been a previous Attitude cover star. Are you sad to be missing out on that hottie? Look, I'm, I'm a married lady. It doesn't mean I can't look. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I would have, I would have been loving the eye candy, but do you know what? It's not about the judges. Can we talk about the fact that it's a rusical next week, and they've given me and Lemon the chop? I feel like somebody heard whispers down the corridor on set, and they went, "Next week's a rusical. Get them out." I was like, "No," because that could have been my redemption, Tia. Could you imagine me with a gold repeater badge for twirling in a rusical? I mean, I can't imagine what a repeater badge even looks like because one thing we have in common is we've never seen them. So, I mean, let, let's heart back to the talent show. No badges, but who really needs a badge? So true. I mean, I feel like you would have done very well at that musical, actually. I would have loved to have done it, but hey, nature of the game. Uh, let's hope there's another season and I come back like Juju. Would you? Would you come back time and again? Right now? No, <laughs> I, I can't put. I'm, I'm still, I'm still a broken D Belina from the first time around. Like that was traumatic. Like I was lucky season one that I made seven out of eight episodes and got as far as I could. I left on a high. Even this time, I look. I was always told, always leave with your head held high and a smile on your face, regardless of the outcome, whether that's an audition, whether that's. Uh, an exam result you always leave with your head held high so I put on my brave face but yeah I was devastated um, and I don't think I can put myself back into the Thunderdome quite yet until I have true belief that I could give it my all again without doubting every single thing. Shez it's been gorgeous chatting to you catching up and just appreciating your time on Drag Race UK versus the world. And I'm obsessed. I love you, Shez. I really do. I love you, my diva, Lena. And I cannot wait to see you in person very, very soon. Thank you for watching Attitude Tea Time brought to you in association with the Tamey app. Join us again next week for some more scalding hot tea, honey work the house down boots. Okay. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.